Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see integrating SAP production planning and SAP SD sales and distribution. So this video, you have to see my pre previous video. Only then you will be able to understand the configurations. In my previous video, I have given uh, clear cut configurations of the master data. So I am post posting it in my description. I'm just giving that in the description. The link has been provided in the description. Just follow that link. And only then you'll be able to understand this video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the raw material to the production line and convert it to finished goods and sell it to the customer. This is what it is. Okay, now the raw material is 7078, 7079 raw material too. Okay, I'm going to send that to, I'm going to convert that to the finished goods 7080, finished goods. Okay, and then I'm going to sell it to the customer. That is, I'm going to create a sales order. I'm going to do delivery and billing. Now, before that, let's go to the SAP system and check the inventory. Let's go to the SAP system. This is my SAP system. MM, MD04, MD04. Okay, 7080 is my finished goods. 7080 is my finished, 7080, finished goods. Finished goods. Okay, let's, this is my finished goods. Third one, present. See here, 1, 2, 3, 0, 3, 9, 7, 2, 0. 3, 9, 7, 2, 0 is my planned order. 3, 9, 3, 9, 7, 2, 0 is my planned order. Planned order. Now, I'm going to convert this to raw material. 7, 0, 7, 8, 7079 to finished goods. Okay, these two are raw metal. Raw metal. Raw metal. Now let me go to the inventory and check whether this raw materials are available to send it to the production line. MMB. Let's go to the MMB and check. 7078. Enter the storage location triple zero one. Thousand is my plant. Execute. So no material is available. So 7079, let's check this also. There is no material. So I'm going to first post this material and then I'm going to convert it to the finished goods. Let me post this material, yeah, Migo. let's go to Migo. Migo transaction code. Go to Migo transaction code. Okay, now goods receipt, other, select other. 561 is my moment time. Okay. Enter material. 7078. 7078. Quantity 1000. I'm going to give 1000. Quantity where? Let's go to where. Plant 1000. Sorry, location 0001. Okay. Sale order. Next material, I'm going to enter 7079. 7079. Press enter. Quantity 1000. Same 1000. Where 1000 plant? 0001 storage location. Post it. Now let's go to MMB and check how much material has been posted. MMB. 1000 material will be there. Execute. 7078. Execute. 1000 material. Okay, 7079, 1000 material. 1000 material. 7080, let's check. 70 finished goods. How many materials are there? So 100 materials are there. Okay, now MD04. Go to MD04. 7080 is my 80, is my finished goods. So 120. This production, this planned order has 120. 120 quantity. Planned order. This is the planned order. Under quantity is 120. 120. Okay. Now let me convert this to finished goods. Go to MFBF transaction code. Okay. Let's enter the planning plant 1000. Location 0001. Enter planned order. Let me enter the planned order. This is my planned order. Let me enter the planned order here. 
Okay, press enter. Plan dot. Okay, now post it with correction. Post it with correction. 120. See, 120 quantity. So 120 quantity. Here it is 120. 120 quantity. Okay. Now let's enter the storage location. Triple zero one. Triple zero one. Enter triple zero one. Post it. Now I'm converting the these two raw material into finished goods 7080. Okay. Now let's come back and go to MMB. 7080 should be already 100 quantity was there. Now it should be 220. 120 plus 100, 220. See here, 220. And how about 17078? It will be it will be 880. 120 is, is been sent to the production and we have got the finished goods. 7079, 120 we have sent it to the production and we have got finished goods. 818. Okay. Now this is Production planning, production planning got over. This production until this it is got over, converted to finished goods. Now I'm going to sell it to the customer by creating sales order and I'm going to delivery and I'm going to debilling. Let's go to BA01. OR, standard order OR. Division 00. Say sales organization 00, sales organization 1000, distribution channel 10, division 00. Okay, standard order OR. Present. Enter the customer one double zero six eight six. Okay, K industries. My material is seven zero eight zero. Okay, finished goods. Okay, same. Now I'm going to sell it one twenty. I'm going to sell it. Okay. Now we enter production uh, payment terms, in court terms. This is mandatory fields in sales order. Okay, double click onto this line item. Go to shipping tab, order confirmation, sales order confirmation. This is sales order 1000. Story location 0001. Net weight and gross weight 100 kgs. 100 kgs. Okay, I am going to sell this 7080 120 quantities, 120 quantity to this customer. This is order confirmation, sales order confirmation. Same. This is my sales order. 15234. Now come back. Let's do delivery. VL01N. VL01N. 1000 is my shipping point. 1000. Present. No schedule lines. So let me enter the schedule lines. 24th. I'm going to change it to 24. Present. Okay. Now go to picking tab. Okay. 120. 120. Post goods issue. Now come back. Let's go to MMBE and check now. 7080. It should be 100. See 100. 120 has been sent to the customer. I have sold it and delivered it to the customer. Now I'm going to do billing. Go to VF01. Press enter and save. See here. 78,000. Now save the net value save. So that, that's it. So I have done sales order delivery billing. I have shown you this full part PP and SD. This is how we do in the real time. So in the meantime, you have to check my previous video so that you will be very much clear. That is a material management and production planning integration. Then you will be very much clear about the configurations. I have given the configurations also in that video. Thank you.